hey hi friends welcome to today's video so today we are going to discuss about formatting of the code like how we can do better formatting of the code so that it looks cleaner and it looks better in terms of readability now for that we have already done one thing in our previous video and that is the using of swift line right like how we can enforce some of the best practice rule in the code so that every developer in your team is you know, like following that rules now in this code, if you see here, I have already uh, like you know, using uh, Swift Lint and that's the reason that it's giving you a lot of warnings here, right? Like that all depends on what rules you have actually set up. If you want to take a look at the video, I will give the description of the Swift Lint. You can go ahead and take a look. Okay. Now, if you see like these are the very common uh, warnings that you will get like trailing white spaces you're, you're leaving some extra white spaces or you're leaving some extra lines that happens when you are writing code okay now sometimes you might feel that it's an extra burden right now you're using swift lint but you have to do extra bit of work to actually resolve all those warnings right now what if i tell you that you don't need to do it manually like there are some good third party libraries that we can use to automate this process like you just build your code you just write your code and that library will take care of removing these warnings right like let's say that if i have to remove this warning i have to actually remove these spaces right so you don't need to do it that library is going to do for you okay sounds really nice right now that library is basically this swift format okay now if I come to the recommendation here, uh, like how to integrate, again, uh, we have all the possible options like using through uh, home view, like this will install the dependency at the project level. And this is what I generally prefer because I don't need to add extra dependencies directly into my project. Okay. And then you have other options like you can use Cocoa Pods, you can also use Swift Package Manager. So all the options are there for you. So I'll go with uh, home view uh that means i'll go with this option okay so for that what do you have to go, do you have to go to your project terminal so let me open this and bring it right here okay something happened let me just clear it okay now um we have to run brew install shift format okay again if uh, homebrew is not installed so it will give error that brew is undefined uh, symbol so better you first install homebrew and then you run this command okay now for my system I think I already have installed it so it will not install again uh, so it will just tell me that it's already installed most probably okay yeah it's already on the latest one also now once you install this um, the next what you have to do is basically uh, if you come down further Xcode source, this is Swift package manager using Cocoa Pods. See, this also supports with Cocoa Pods if you want to go through it. And then, if you're using Cocoa Pod, then you have to add this into your uh, run script, okay? But we are using uh, this Troy Home View, so we have to use basically this run script, okay? Now, where you need to add it, so I always prefer adding this Swift format at the last when I'm telling you that why you should add it after copy bundle resource because what the Swift format is going to do it's going to modify your files right and you might have seen that you once you start building the project and and in between if you modify the file the Xcode will give you either it, it will give you a, a error and you, it will stop the build process and ask you to build it again or in some cases it will show you pop up that please save the file okay so now I don't want to save my files every time I build it right so it's better that once all this linking with uh, libraries and copy bundle resource has done then you perform this uh, Swift format right you can do it and you can try it after Swift lint of Geno before this uh, this copy bundle resource and see what uh, warning or error you are getting so let me add a new run script phase here and inside that I'll just paste whatever I have copied from there okay and let's change this name to this is swift format okay so now my build script is ready and if you see 
we have these many warnings with us okay now what I'm going to do I'm just going to build it again okay and now you try to see this warnings so now if you see it automatically removed all those uh, extra spaces that was there all the trailing spaces everything got removed but still it has some let me just run it once more so it's not like that it will remove um, all the shift plane because again it all depends on the rules that is being set this time we are just using the default rules and default rule was able to remove everything okay but there is more better thing that we can do with the shift format now for example if you see in this code this was like something like this and shift lint may or may not have this problem because it, it all depends on the rules that you have set but if you run it again the shift format will remove this spaces okay here you have trailing space but see the shift format is removing this and removing the, this empty spaces between your function where you have nothing defined okay even uh, if you see one more thing here that is the spaces now there are few rules just similar to shift lint which are enabled in shift lint as few rules we have to enable it you know, explicitly the same thing is there in the shift format as well so few rules are there by default and few rules you have to enable it from your own side okay now if you go to the rule book you can see there are a lot of rules which are defined now based on that I'm not going to in detail of all these rules that you can just go and see there they are good examples that what it does let's say that for example if I open this empty braces you can uh, see uh, where is this in the examples what it will actually do and this was the same thing that was happening here right there was nothing inside the function so it will just remove this spaces and do it like this like there are a lot of things like for example uh, enum access control so if you see uh, it can add from this and it is like if you're, if you're defining this public like you're, you're not making your extension public but you're making function public and that then makes sense right because if, you, if all the functions are public why, why can't I just make my extension public so likewise there are so many things uh, that are, that is basically you know we miss while we code but this shift format takes care of those things again you can disable enable based on your project use cases right now let, let's see that how we can write or how we can import and export any rules now for that what we have to do we have to create a file called dot shift format inside the project directory similar to uh, the lint file or, or the file which you created for the shift lint and shift chain okay now let me bring the project folder here so if you see right now we have this shift lint dot yml and then shift chain dot yml okay now in this case we need to just create a simple file with the name uh, dot shift format right so I'm going to open my terminal and I'm already in the project directory so I'll just write touch and then this okay and now if you come back here you can see that this is already created okay and again uh, for all these files I always prefer using uh, some other editor like Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio where you can have better visualization because these scripts are also dependent on the spaces the, the spaces when you write something or new line so it's better to visualize everything very properly so I'll open with uh, Visual Studio Code okay and right now you can see that this file is whole empty because I have not written anything now if you see they have given you few rules like how you can let's say that you don't want to uh, run these rules on a specific file then then there also you have option to exclude any particular file or particular folder that all you can do and then you have format options and then you have rules so if you see here uh, these are all the rules okay and then uh, you also have each option like you see generic uh, options here you can see pattern late and this basically some pattern uh, or some options give you to manually you know, define your own logic for example indentation like somebody prefer four if you, if you don't want to prefer four you want to prefer six eight that that all thing you can do tab with so these are like uh, 
few options that you can modify and here also if you see here for example the indent is 4 so there are a lot of thing, line breaks if if there is an if then automatically there will be line break so all these things are there and then there are rules also so I'm not going to modify anything here let me just copy and paste you can again define the rules as per your own requirement okay and uh, after this okay let me build it again and see if it makes any difference okay so let me run it again there is no difference okay now my uh, thing is that the spaces which is there between this BG utility and foundation this doesn't look good and I want to remove it but I don't want to do this manually okay I want the suit format to take care of it so if you see here uh, if you come down in the rules if you see here blank line between imports this is opt-in rules like disabled by default now I want to enable this rule right so I click it here I, I can copy this and go back to my visual studio code and if you want to enable any rule what do you have to do this is the syntax hyphen hyphen enable and then the rule okay I saved it and this time this space should be removed so if I build it again you can see that the space was removed even let's say that if I leave extra space after this right now okay and if I build it again so see it's telling you some error but it's not solving this problem because there are again some rules see uh, blank line between imports blank line after imports okay and this is also disabled so let me add that also let me go back here and enable this as well okay now let it build it again and this time the shift format should solve this you can see that the space was removed okay so like that there are so many rules that you can use uh, to solve this you no know, simple mistakes that happens while coding okay there are a lot of things like if you see here uh, there's a rule called is empty and that's this is one of the common thing that we do like uh, if you see here if I have a variable uh, let's say array which have uh, one two and I write I'm writing something like if array uh, dot count equals equals to zero okay print now we already have a is empty of uh, function right with array and sometime we don't use it we prefer count because this is a like the first thing that comes into our mind that okay we have array we have count let's compare to zero now we have already enabled that uh, is empty rule if you see okay now if I build it what it will does it will convert this count to empty okay so let's see so if you see here um, this um, search format was able to remove this count to dot is empty okay because this is what is more good in terms of time complexity when used on array okay the, there was also one other warning I can see that was uh, using where and late maybe there is no rules for this in this set format I have not seen all the th all the rules okay uh, and uh, so like that if you see here in the set format there are lots and lots of rules like for example many times uh, we define the variable by giving the type right see then what does shift will uh, format will do see it has some thing like redundant type and then you can you know, have the description like whether it's going to be inferred now if you talk about what is description description is basically this one the right hand side what you are seeing like so this this type of things that you can say it here okay and then the shift format will automatically change this from this syntax to this syntax okay other things like when you're using this uh, self uh, without any uh, use case and this is I, I think one of the most common thing I see when I review the code like we use self everywhere where in, even if it's not required and that's of no use like if you see here in this case uh, these two uh, variable are coming as a argument so you need to to you know, like distinguish between your class instance and the function argument right but if you see here this uh, b a z this is being in a slice as 42 right 
this is not coming from the function argument so there is no need of using self here and if you see this set format is automatically removing the self so that's all for today's video you can go through each of the rules and then try to just include those rules that is required uh, as per your coding guidelines okay so I'm for time being I've just copied and pasted but uh, you can always change and modify as per your requirement and it's really uh, solves a uh, lot of things and especially in terms of your time to uh, go and then you know, manually solve these supplant warnings so that's all for today's video hope uh, you have enjoyed watching it and if you have enjoyed watching it then please do subscribe the channel to get more and more updates thanks for watching thank you